Welcome back to The Griot. He was a fixture in early Atlanta politics. Marvin Arrington Sr. was a visionary, a city council member, and a superior court judge. Arrington was in Atlanta politics for more than 25 years. And now, a new documentary called Bowlegs chronicles his life, career, and how his efforts helped put the city of Atlanta on the map. Anytime you give a mayor credit for Atlanta's place in America and the world, um, you have to think about uh, the person that organized the legislative side of that effort. He ruled this chamber like mighty Zeus in Olympus. And it was a chamber that we aspire to the, to the highest for the least of these. And it is his example that made this an august, mystical body of public service. Joining me now is Adeline Gassana. He is the writer and director of the Bowlegs documentary. My brother, welcome to the Griot. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate you having me. Talk to me about this film. Why was it important for you to make a project like this? Well, these are these are the kind of stories that make for documentaries, right? It's the unfamiliar story. It's the story off the beaten bat path. And uh, for us Atlanteans, um, he's well known in the 70s, 80s, and 90s. Uh, and so we wanted to take his story and really galvanize it. Uh, Marvin Arrington Sr. Um, was born in Grady Holmes Housing Projects, was a Grady baby. Uh, and he was born in a segregated town of the Deep South. And he helped transform this um, city into the international cosmopolitan city that we have today. And so it was incumbent upon us um, to give him his flowers while he's still with us as the living legend himself. And it was a beautiful project and it's been well received. Well, it's exciting to hear about, you know, there are so many people uh, who get heralded in Atlanta's history, you know, the King family, for example, Andrew Young, for example, Hank Aaron, for example. In the modern era, you know, we're going to hear stories of, of, of people who, who spent most of their life in Atlanta, you know, the ushers of the world, you know, art, artists, you know, like Jermaine Dupri. Um, but then there are these people who, if you know Atlanta well, as you said, if you're if you are a native Atlantan, if you were, and if you're a Grady baby, especially, because that means something if you're from Atlanta. If you, if you one of them, there are some folk in the grassroots, there's some folk in the hood, there's some folk in the Atlanta metro area more broadly who made the city what it is. How did you decide to dig in that area as opposed to telling one of these stories about one of the more celebrated Atlanta uh, heroes, which might have got you more money, more spotlight, more, more funding? You know what I mean? Like, wh how, what made, you, what made yeah. you choose this one? Well, it's, it's interesting you say that. Um, I was the archival researcher for the Maynard documentary, um, and I was responsible for all third-party content, worked with the producers and editors toward the picture lock of that film. And a few um, year, months later, Marvin Harrington Jr., the son of Marvin Harrington Sr., who's currently a Fulton County commissioner, approached me about doing Doc Man and his dad. Now, I do, I've do. i been doing documents for about a, over a decade and a half now, and usually when people come to me with projects and ideas, I kind of push back in the sense of saying, you know, how can we tell this visually? Do we, is there enough out there? Um, how can we really go, you know, from A to Z with, with a project like this? And um, we talked a little bit more about it, and um, I decided, let me come in as an archival researcher for the first two, three weeks. Let me see what... Where I can all I can find, and let me dig it up. And as I'm digging, I'm going to Atlanta History Center, Woodruff Library, AUC Center, Clark Atlanta, all over Atlanta, and I was blown away by the archival material on this one figure. And yet, as you brought up, um, Maynard Jackson, Andrew Young, he, uh, Mar Marvin Arrington Sr. was a city council president, which is really the number two uh, position in city government. And he was with yeah. those administrations, the entire Maynard Jackson's eight-year term and then Andrew Young's eight-year term. And so it tells you so, so much so why about is he not more well known? Why is he not more well known? You know, like, again, like Maynard Jackson is books and now documentaries about him. Yes. Andy <laughs> Young is a legend and everybody knows that he's at the Olympics. You know, why, why does this story not get told as much? Well, that's we, we addressed that in the documentary. Um, when you, when an uh, individual like this doesn't have the mayor title in front of him, and he's city council president. He's kind of the local um, figure, uh, the local legend. Um, it, it doesn't get the shine. 
and a lot of the legislation he passed, you brought it up, the Atlanta airport, uh, bring, um, helping save the Atlanta Zoo, bringing the Olympics to, um, to Atlanta. He was principal in that. But Andrew Young and Mayor Jackson were the mayors, so they get the, all the credit, right? And But anybody who really understands the seams, understands how city government works, knows that he was right there in the thick of it. And that's that's kind of what um, how a lot of these stories, um, are, you know, prop up here in Atlanta. I'm glad you brought up Atlanta as being influential. You know, the moniker today is that um, Atlanta influences everything, right? <laughs> um, For and, sure. And part of For that sure. is Atlanta's the these new black. You know, Atlanta's always been a kind of black capital. You know, you got Detroit, you got uh, Harlem, of course. Uh, Atlanta's always had an important role in the American South in that way. And nowadays, I mean, you can't turn on TV, you can't listen to the radio without hearing. Uh, 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 Atlanta, either uh, directly or through its influence. Let me ask you a question, though. Yes. How did he get the name Bowlegs? I, I got to know. <laughs> uh, that's, that was his lifelong nickname. Um, he had it since his, his high school football days. He was a high school um, football legend from Turner High School, and he mm. got his um, scholarship at Clark College, which is now Clark Atlanta. And, yeah, he was bowlegged, um, had, had it throughout his entire political career, all the way through his mayor run. Um, and he was known as Bowleg. So that's a t- uh, the term of endearment. Uh, they don't even call him Marvin or, you know, Mr. Arrington or Judge Arrington. They call him, hey, Bo, hey, Bowlegs. Hey, Bo. Um, yeah. and, that's, that's how you know it's your and, nickname. When they, when they make a nickname for the nickname, when you go from Bowlegs to just Bo, you know what I mean? That, that's when you really <laughs> did it. But, but I, I got to run in a second, man. But let me yeah. ask you, what's the reaction been like from the Arrington family? Sometimes you make docs and families don't love it. You know, how have they reacted to your uh, film, which is shown, of course, at multiple film festivals so far? Yes, yes, yeah. We were at multiple film festivals. We even had a six-month run on Delta Airlines um, uh, from August to January. And um, they they, lo- they loved it. Um, they appreciated every aspect of the, how we put it together as I scripted it out and all the important figures who came and spoke on his, his impact and his achievements. Um, but I think he himself was blown away. I mean, to take a 50-year story, I mean, this guy who integrated Emory University Law School is the youngest city council um, a man in Atlanta's history, then becomes the longest serving city council president. You know, man, this man take is a, that. He, I mean, he really hours. is like the legend of Atlanta, the OG of Atlanta. And and I, you know, having lived in Atlanta a bit, you know, know the story of him, but I don't know all of it. And I can't wait to watch this documentary right. so that yes. I can learn just how integral he was to Atlanta life and culture. Anyway, Adelaide, thank you so much for joining us. Everybody, check out the documentary. It is now available. It's called Bowlegs, and it's on Apple TV, Amazon Prime Video, and YouTube.